Hi, this is a Lucky 44 tutorial video for Arma 2. This tutorial is going to go over how to use triggers to make them be fired by a specific unit um, in two different ways. And here we have uh, four triggers across the bottom here, and those are not part of uh, what we're talking about here. Those are for the tutorial mission, which you can download um, from Armaholic and uh, open this up and take a look at it and play through it. Um, what we're concerned about are the triggers here and here. Um, in this demonstration I have two uh, members of my unit. Here's the player, the rifleman, and then I have a corpsman who I've named Bobby and a pilot who I've named Joe. Um, the first trigger is going to be set to go off only when Bobby reaches within that area, which is around a Humvee. The method here is you place the trigger and you don't, in the trigger, you don't mention Bobby's name anywhere. Um, but, and by the way, I have this trigger set that when it activates, it will just send some title text to the screen saying, excellent, Bobby's reached the Humvee. And then it's set a flag that I'm going to use in the tutorial purposes. Um, so what I do is, once I've set the trigger and I have the unit on the screen, I go into Groups. Now, you'd think that you would use Synchronize to connect the trigger to the unit, but in fact you use Groups. So I click on the trigger and I drag a line over to the unit. And I let it go and it produces this teal colored line that tells the trigger only be activated when this unit gets to it. Um, one other interesting thing about whoops, about this trigger is that when you connect it to a unit, your uh, options for activation get become something completely different. No longer are they OP4 or Blue4 or Radio Alpha, but they change to these four. And the first one is kind of confusing because it says vehicle. I would suggest you just think of that as individual unit rather than vehicle because obviously in this case we have it connected to a soldier and that's the same thing. The other options are the whole group and in that case I would need the trigger would only fire when that unit's whole group were within the bounds of the trigger. That's one way to do it. Uh, another way is to have only the group leader reach the trigger area and the fourth way is that if any group member of the attached unit's uh, group reaches the area, the trigger will fire. So you can imagine that in different circumstances you might want to use these four different things and they could be really handy. The second method is to have the trigger fire uh, by a specific character name. And for this we go to the trigger and we set this syntax. It's going to be the unit's name, no parent, no quotation marks, and then you're always going to have in this list. And the this list refers to the activation box up here. So in this case it's going to be anybody, anybody whose name is Joe, any unit whose name is Joe will fire the trigger, make it true, and in this case it'll fire some title text in the center of the screen that just says Joe the pilot has reached the hangar. Okay. Um, I could stipulate that this was uh, only a blue four or an op four, but since you're giving a specific name of a unit and there can only be one unit with that specific name, it doesn't really matter. You might as well just use anybody. That's the only thing that's important on these settings. You do want present, uh, but that's the default. So let's take a look at how this looks uh, in preview. Okay, there's the Humvee. And you see the title text is firing in the center of the screen. That's just part of the tutorial, which if you download the mission and look at it, you'll uh, be able to follow that. Um, so here's my pilot, uh, who I've named Joe, and there's my corpsman, who I've named Bobby. Now, if I select if I hit F3 and I select the pilot and I send him to the Humvee, 
Where'd he go? He's coming around that way. You'll notice that the trigger won't fire because I have it set by a connecting uh, line so that only uh, my corpsman Bobby will set it off. So if I select him, I hit F3, F2 in his case, and I send him over to the Humvee. You'll see that when he gets close to it, uh, when he gets close to it, I said, I'm going to have to tell him to get in it because he's not close enough. Get in it. There he goes. Okay, so there's the title text you can see that says Bobby has reached the Humvee. Okay, now, if I, for instance, run into the hangar, the title text doesn't tell me that uh, the trigger has fired. Um, but if I send Joe in here, the pilot, now the title text fires, detecting that he has entered it. And that's pretty much it. There are a lot of uh, variables you could do. You could use, you know, if they enter a certain vehicle or if they're alive, but this will give you a couple ways to detect uh, something, fire a trigger based on an individual unit.